What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So currently we are actually headed to Wham for setup at the Texas Motor Speedway, but we're in some pretty gnarly traffic. So I figured this is the best time to film an intro video uh, to, to everything leading up to uh, what's going on right now. So basically in this video, you'll see I changed some upper control arms. I changed tires on the car, got some stripes put on the car, cleaned up the car and we packed the trailer and we headed to Wham. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right guys, so right here I have a brand new BFG Rival S and one of my used ones. Uh, first thing you're gonna notice is these are really used. And you see all this uh, tread pattern being tore up like that, um, it's not good. So if you look at this corner, which is the outside of the uh, tire, it's got these lugs, right? And they're pretty much completely worn out. Come over here, you can see that's what it looks like. It's got a little tread on the sidewall to help bite in and get the car to turn. And these are all tore up. As you can see, I'm not using the entire contact patch. I mean, this looks like we could definitely even this out. And I'm pretty sure if I took a thermometer to these after a session, that this side of the tire would be blazing hot. So this is what I'm trying to avoid with this new set of tires. I've been overcooking these and they're not wearing even. All right, so the best way I can explain caster to you guys is pretty much gonna be the angle of this Whoa, this knuckle, right? So right now this is like zero caster, right? Now when you start moving this back, getting positive caster, and the angle of the wheel is different, as you can see right there. And then when you move this forward, it's negative caster. So we want just a little more positive caster, which is this moving backward like that. So it's the angle of this right here. Straight up and down, you got zero. To so the back is positive, to the front, is negative when you move it to the back the actual the actual wheel is going to sit forward just a hair and a little more positive caster on turning will help you with turning it'll feel a little heavier but it also give you just a little more negative camber and that's kind of what we're going for here all right so right here i've got the new spc upper control arm for the driver's side already set up everything tightened down i use just a little bit of blue uh, Loctite because I don't want this coming loose and I tightened the ever-loving hell out of it So that's good right there over here. You got the stock one. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. This one's kind of flimsy I hit it with a hammer. Don't ask me why but it flexed really bad This one's definitely sturdier. It's a lot thicker and having new bushings is really gonna stiffen up the ride just overall These are from 2009 pretty sure the little wore out um, but As you can see we've got the we've got the caster adjustment set in there and this is all the way back so we can get just that negative camber up in the front to help with uh, turn in. So we're about to throw this bad boy up in here on the driver's side and wrap everything up. All right, guys, I just want to show you the final product installed. As you can see, they give you this nice new castle nut. You go ahead and put the cotter pin in and then twist it around. So you know it's not going anywhere. So we've got our uh, caster adjustment adjustment set and we've got our camber adjustment set. So hopefully that's enough to make a difference. Uh, I really, I'm really happy with these, uh, these arms. Really like them. I hope they make a, a big difference. I'm really upset with myself that like, I can't believe that I didn't do this mod three, four, you know what, almost a year ago, I've had these control arms just kind of sitting around and this is a pretty simple job. But now that I've got these new BFG tires, I don't want to destroy them like I did my other set. Um, so I want to go ahead and try and wear these nice and even and get more life out of these tires because the more tire you've got on the contact patch on the ground, I mean, the more grip you have and the faster you can go. So like pretty upset with myself that I didn't do this mod ages ago. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and knock out the other side right quick. And then I'm going to go for a quick little spin around the block. It looks like it might rain, but I just want to make sure everything's nice and tight and there's no like loud clunking noises or anything like that. All right, guys, so I'm here at my spot, right? That's why I've officially called this my spot. I got the car back there and uh, the spot's so crazy because people always dump stuff and you never know what you're going to find. Like that could be like radioactive or something. You know what I mean? There's always all sorts of junk out here. I never go through it or anything. Uh, I come out here for other activities, not sorting through junk, but I'm just saying it's my spot. So let me show you guys the car real quick. Uh, give you an update of kind of where I'm at for Wham, which is one week away uh, that I'm filming this. There's a couple more things I'm going to do, uh, definitely tomorrow because it's already getting late today and I am whooped, guys. Haven't worked or grinded on the car like this in a really long time. All right, so here's the Challenger. As you guys know, I did the OEM uh, wide body kit 
And that's a big thank you to Wesley Motorsports right there. We repainted the entire car. Huge thank you to Color House of Texas. Because we're gonna go to Wham with this car, do a bunch of stuff. Sinister Designs, cut all these decals out for me. MFR Engineering, as you guys know, is the chassis mounted uh, rear diffuser. And of course the chassis mounted front splitter. Then you've got Vicrez. They've always been a part of the build since the beginning. So I always got to represent them. BFG for the tires. And of course, status racing for the seats. Something I did yesterday was actually uh, hook my harnesses, put my harnesses back in because I had pulled the seats out to clean the entire interior because it was just dirty and dusty. Of course, we upgraded to the Vicrez LED forged carbon steering wheel. Uh, no issues with that. Everything's great. And other than that, we just got the six, uh, six point roll cage and the uh, Dodge Demon rear seat delete back there. And that's pretty much it for like the stuff you can see. Now, I always get questions on these wheels, like why are they painted? They're just covered in brake dust right now. But yeah, they are painted. I got these for, so I actually got those wheels because uh, we did some kind of, we did like a TV show with a car uh, last year and that hasn't come out yet. And I can't really say much about it, but we ended up getting those wheels on that show. Uh, with a different set of tires so they didn't want to ruin my uh, oem demon wheels so they gave me those and they changed the paint on them i don't know if they bought them that way or what but super slick so i used those for my autocross tires for wham we're going to use both sets of wheels just because i don't know how much tire we're going to go through running the car non-stop oh boy car looks really good looks like the sky is going to let loose any minute now it's been raining on and off all day so yeah we just got one more decal we're going to put on this door right here then we're going to change out our tires and we'll be pretty much set. Um, the new upper control arms made a huge difference. Really excited to test this out on the track. Dude, you can see how much I was sweating working on this. And like, it's all over the car. It's pretty gross. So the last thing we're going to do, and I'm definitely going to uh, do this tomorrow. Uh, I took these rails off and I still haven't ordered them. I started cleaning it up, as you can see right there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning this up for Wham. And then after Wham, I'll get some of those... Uh, drip rail covers or whatever it is that they're called guys i am whooped i think i spent a total of six hours working on the car today thank god it's saturday I sweat my perm out look at that but still very much a street car got ac flies in here boy all right so we'll pick this back up tomorrow all right guys next day so i went in and picked up some more decals from sensor designs last night and I didn't get to put them on, so I'm going to do it right now. And this idea came from my door being empty. I don't exactly have a title sponsor. And in the past, I've used the Optima decal because they're sponsored by uh, Advanced Auto Parts. So they usually put the big door number and the big series sponsor, Ultimate Street Car Association, um, on the door. And I didn't have anything, so I got to thinking. Um, I might as well just put my own name on there, right? Because I don't exactly have a title sponsor. So it's pretty much going to look just like that, just like the logo. Let me show it to you guys. All right, here you've got the decals. Uh, they're already cut out. I just need to put them onto the door. And I've been applying everything with my university ID because I pretty much built this entire car while being in college. So that's what I'm gonna do now is take these decals and put them on the door. Alright guys, we have been putting in work. I couldn't film everything just because of like time constraints and just trying to get things done because we are Mopar is like time now. So basically we got the stripes and up on the car. Me and Ashley washed the car. We cleaned out the interior. We cleaned the wheels. We got the new BF Goodrich tires mounted on there and we put the wheels on the car. We waxed the car. I mean, we put in tons of elbow grease and the car looks incredible. I think a lot of that has to do with the help from Color House of Texas. And I hope you guys that go to We Are Mopar see the car and can enjoy and just appreciate the work that's been put into this bad boy. But let me give you guys a quick walk around because right now we're about to do our complete load up and head to We Are Mopar tomorrow morning. But let me show you the car.
guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Uh, next video will be us at We Are Mopar. So I hope you see, I see you guys there. If you guys like these videos, leave a comment below, hit that like button. And if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, peace out.